morning! We're walking over to the National Monument, Wayabo. We have a little campsite down the road at a hotel. So we're just walking a kilometer up. It should be some ruins up here. Yeah, this is a pre-Columbian ruin, so before Columbus came and screwed up everything. <laughs> but I'm half Spanish, so you know. The National Park is $5 each to enter. I guess it doesn't really have like big pyramids, like like zero actual structures. It's just foundations. But we spent the night right here. Might as well check it out. You know, something super old. So we got our ticket here. There's not much parking here. So I think you gotta find a spot to park and then come here. It's over 3,000 years old here, according to that guy. So apparently this region has been populated for over 12,000 years. And I can imagine back then the natives probably loved the cool temperatures compared to the rest of Costa Rica and all the countries this far south. Yeah. It's pretty nice up here. They found tools and ceramic pieces dating almost 12,000 years ago. So here's our first thing here. Looks like a petroglyph. Wow. It looks kind of like a monkey face upside down it hanging from a tree. It does look like a monkey face or sloth. It says monolith of the jaguar. Well, wow, looks like this place is not super visited. <laughs> Woo, we made it up to the mirror door here. I'll show you guys the view in a sec, but here's like the overview of the place. So just a ton of foundations from pre-Columbian ruins. And down here, there it is. Nothing as impressive as Palenque or, you know, Tikal. You can feel a energy here, an ancient presence. It's just cool to be places where people used to live, you know, 3,000 years ago. Rainy. We're in the rainforest and it's also rainy season. Now we're down by the structures, the foundation for the ruins. Definitely a cool little thing to check out while we're on our way to the river to do some whitewater rafting. If it's on the way, it's only five bucks to get in. Different set of ruins than what we're used to, but we haven't seen any ruins since Guatemala, so we're stoked. So this road is actually a thoroughfare that the indigenous people would use to get in and out of the, the site. And we've already seen one like this over in Quintana Roo. There is another cobblestone road that you can take all throughout Quintana Roo and the Yucatan Peninsula. It goes to a whole bunch of different cenotes, but it's not completely uncovered. There's parts of it that are still deep, deep in the jungle. The natural world really demands respect. You can go to Alaska and get there when it's on fire and never see anything because of the haze of the smoke. Or you could come here and never see the volcano because it's cloudy and it's rainy. That's just another thing about the van. You're not just wandering around doing everything as quick as you can, but at a time. So we're heading over to the campsite where we're gonna do some whitewater rafting raining but we're getting excited yeah. when we were skiing you get so excited to see fresh snow and now that it's raining for so many days i feel kind of the same way about whitewater rafting should be pretty good <laughs> is that how it works <laughs> So after spending a couple days in the beautiful cold mountains of Costa Rica, we're heading down to Rio Percare to go whitewater rafting with our good friend Kurt. We're super stoked. This river is one of the best in the world to go whitewater rafting. I've never gone before. We'll see how this goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. So we're almost to the campsite. Stone and Kurt are already here, so they gave us the lowdown on where to go. I imagine this would all be just one big mud pit all the way up the river. It's not even wet here. It hasn't been raining here today. Here we go. River crossing. Made it. No problemo. This is rocky and rough road though, but it's, it's doable. And the surface makes it so even if rain, you'd be fine. After checking with a bunch of companies, I found one that said we could camp out right at the rafting put-in point. So we get to sleep an extra hour here at the beautiful Rio Pacuare, and then have another peaceful night after, without having to move our tired bodies. Waking up in the van, right next to an adventure, is the best.
made some vegan quesadillas here, sitting by the water. Perfect place. a beautiful place here and there's a line of leaf gutter ants. We got a bottleneck here. Maybe a strike here. Are you removing all the bottlenecks to make a more a more efficient community? Maybe you can be their new leader. <laughs> he moves giant leaves with a single move. Well, I am a benevolent the god. Sky, not in the way. It's like magic. He's a giant among ants. <laughs> Are you stepping on him, dude? Ah, surfing. <laughs> so what happened, Emily? I just heard a noise when I was getting out of the van and a tree just like fell right then. It was like crack, 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 crack. Yeah, I heard a little bit of that. You think there's an elephant up there? Mega sloths the size of a dinosaur? Ooh. Man, they must eat so much. going whitewater rafting today. They are class three and four rapids. I'm kind of nervous of falling out of the boat because I've never gone before, but I'm excited to head out there. We've got helmets and life jackets, so I feel pretty safe. Here we go.
So wow, what a crazy time we just had. A whitewater rafting, that was insane. We None of us fell out. I'm glad I didn't fall out. Are you glad you didn't fall out? <laughs> Uh, I mean, we jumped out that one time to swim through. Yeah, we did jump but, out to uh, swim, but... As for... I'm glad I didn't fall out. Yeah. yeah, oh my gosh. I was like super scared I was going to fall out. But I'm glad I didn't. So while they're making lunch, we're going to go for a little walk over to a little waterfall. And I'd really recommend this company, Tico River. You heard about it from I Overlander. Random post nearby said they spent the night there at this hotel, but came with this company. And it was actually written by the founder of I Overlander. This is a really good company, good price, good lunch, good times. watching our whitewater rafting video okay guys for the next 10 days we're super excited to be starting a van life series with snow and kurt to 
tomorrow, head over to their channel for the first video, and then the next day, head back to this channel for our alternating day in the van life series. We'll be doing this for the next couple weeks while we travel the incredible Caribbean coast together, giving you a feel for what it's really like to live in a van. See you guys tomorrow!